everyone, my name is Shika Obain Kamara and I'm back to you today with Beauty Inside Out. Today we're going to be talking about Okbongo Space, Nenso Bing, or in English, hyperpigmentation. Nenso Bing, you know, it's a big problem. And at first we used to say it's a problem for market women and illiterates. But increasingly, that is not the case you find that in recent times, even well-educated women have hyperpigmentation. What is hyperpigmentation? Well, hyperpigmentation is characterized by increased pigment production in certain areas of the skin. So you see that there's a lot of dark patches on people's skin um, when they do have hyperpigmentation. Increased melanin production, as a form of defense of some kind of damage, sun damage, product damage. We also have hypopigmentation, which is characterized by loss of pigments in certain areas, lighter patches or even white patches, little dots on the skin. So take a look at older people, their legs especially, you will find that in the pores there's hypopigmentation. And this is not caused by bleaching or using harmful products is something that happens to some people depending on their genes um, as they age. But hyperpigmentation, nen swabbing, or pongo space is what we are focusing on today right here on Beauty Inside Out. In most cases that we see, it is brought on by using harsh products, chemicals, cosmetics on the skin. Some people have even used cement water in hopes of bleaching their skin or becoming lighter. Others have come and have confessed that they use hair relaxers in achieving lighter skin. But quick fixes always leave you with long-term damages when it comes to playing with chemicals on your skin. There's a new rave now in town where people are checking social media and becoming cosmetic chemists at home. This is also another increasing risk factor when it comes to getting hyperpigmentation, damaging your skin, bleaching your skin until the skin loses its integrity. 